and to be here to recognize uh, Ron and his place in that history and for all of the children who will be looking back at that history and seeing um, the sort of baton being passed and the continued vigorous and active government and the vigorous and active debate that makes the government and makes the strong foundations that we have, not only here in Hopkinton, but all across uh, Massachusetts, certainly. State Representative Carolyn Dykema and the chair of the visioning steering group, Tim Kilduff, had nothing but kind words to honor a longtime volunteer for many Hopkinton-based organizations, Ronald Eldridge. Ron was honored at the Chamber of Commerce annual holiday dinner. State Representative Carolyn Dykema also presented Ron with a citation from the House of Representatives. Ron talked to HCAM News about the event and also talked about his time as an HCAM volunteer. It's the annual uh, Chamber of Christmas party in which they uh, honor a, a volunteer in the town of Hopkinton. And, uh, this year I've been lucky enough to be chosen to be uh, honored and I'm really humbled by this whole celebration. Uh, can you tell us about uh, some of what you've done for uh, the community? Well, uh, as any parent, I've been actively involved in kids' sports. Uh, have also taken that up into the high school uh, ba basketball program with the girls. Uh, I did TV for HCAM for about 12 or 14 years. I've uh, volunteered on the Appropriations Committee for 16. I was on Town Government Study Committees, the Voices for Vision group. I was part of the uh, HAA when it first began back in 96, the 100th running of the uh, marathon. Uh, I've been very fortunate and been able to, to do, do a lot of things. I'm blessed with a family that supports me and uh, really wanted to see me out there helping in the community. Now, what do you think makes this community so special? Oh, I think there's a lot of things that makes this, this community special. I think, for one, it's, it's the people who work for the town. I think they're a great bunch of people. They work hard, and uh, they, they really know what it takes to get the job done. But it's the people that have come into town who have volunteered on committees uh, that really make this, this place go. It, it's, uh, I, I, I like to say, one of our... One of our uh, a uh, former selectman said that uh, town meeting was the greatest form of democracy, and I say volunteerism is the greatest exercise of democracy. And we've had a lot of people who have stepped forward, whether it be in civic organizations, sports or organizations, or in town government, who have just worked very hard to make Hopkinton a great place to live and work. Now I have to ask, uh, what are some of the things you did at HCAM? Oh, at HCAM? Well, my... I think uh, I was probably one of the first ones who did play-by-play uh, -play for high school basketball games. When we first started out, we would have a cameraman standing and sitting next to me in the stands, and I was sitting in the stands with the fans. And then when the new school came along, we had our own little perch up there where uh, we were kind of away from the people. But uh, that was the most fun I've had in, uh, over the course of, uh, of my volunteering from a sports standpoint. Uh, worked with a lot of great people, Mike Tarosian being one of them, dedicated individual who's worked very hard to make HCAM a success in this town. We had a lot of fun together and joked a lot together. But uh, I always say, though, one of the toughest part about doing play-by-play -play is who you have as an analyst. And for a while there, I had two coaches, Chuck Joseph and Coach Bliss. So as a play-by-play -play man, I usually got about three words in, hello and good night, and they took care of the rest. Well, it certainly makes the job a little easier. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.